In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get a really quick double exposure effect in Affinity Photo. So first things first, let's import our image of our subject that we want to use. I'm going to leave a link in the description with the photos that I used in this so that you guys can follow along if you'd like to. And then I'm just going to apply a quick one by one crop to this image. Just drag that down a little bit and then hit apply. Then we're going to come over and hit the selection brush tool and make a quick selection of our subject here. Then I'm going to come up and hit refine. And I actually have a few tutorials on this if you guys want to go a little bit more in depth with this and understand it a little bit more. But basically we're just going to make a quick selection of our subject here. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but we're just going to go through and get a quick selection. So now that we've done our quick selection, we can check our preview modes just to make sure we've gotten everything that we need. Then we're going to come down and hit output and hit new layer with mask and hit apply. Now that we've gotten that, I'm going to add a new pixel layer and bring that to the very bottom. I'm going to hit G to get our paint bucket tool and make sure I have a white color up here and just paint white onto the background so that we have a white background. Then real quick, I'm just going to come up and select our subject layer and I'm going to add a black and white adjustment layer to that. And I'm just going to drag that layer into that group so that it only affects that layer. And I'm going to close out of that. Next, I'm going to import the other image that we want to use for our double exposure and then just set that into place. If you need snapping, you can hold down shift while you rotate to get it at a perfect 90 degree angle. I will reduce the opacity of this image a little bit so that we can see exactly where we want this to go. And I think something like right there is going to work pretty well for this image. I'll bring that opacity back all the way. I'm going to add another black and white adjustment layer to this image and just bring that into that group. Then with that layer selected, we're going to come into our blend modes and change it to screen. Now that we've done that, we're going to add a curves adjustment layer and just add that into there and do the same thing that we did with the black and white adjustment layer and bring that over into that group so that it only affects that layer. Then we're going to bring our white parts over here just over a little bit so that we get rid of that outline of the back of her head there. And then we can close out of that. One more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come into my subject layer here and select that mask. And I'm going to grab my paintbrush tool, make sure I'm painting on with black and I have a very low hardness so that I have a very soft brush. And then I'm just going to paint over the bottom part of the image here so it kind of tapers off. And one more thing I want to change is I'm going to come up into our landscape image here and I'm going to add a mask to that layer. I'm going to paint away this little fog that she has on her face just so her face is a little bit more clear. But that's pretty much it with this double exposure effect. Now you guys can play around with this however you'd like. So for example, if you actually wanted your subject to be in color, you can get rid of that black and white adjustment layer. Or if you want your landscape to be in color, you can get rid of that black and white adjustment layer. But if you're going to do that, you might have to come into your curves adjustment and just affect that a little bit more so you get rid of that back outline there. But like I said, you can play with this however you'd want. And if you want to go the color route, you can definitely do some color grading to this as well if you'd like. And this is just a quick way of doing double exposure inside Affinity Photo. If you want to learn some other ways, let me know in the comments below. But that pretty much does it for this video. If you guys liked this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.